What's going on, guys? Hey, my name is Dakota Smith, and I am the senior pastor here at Ottawa Bible Church. And if you've made your way to this video, it's likely that you have received one of our invitation cards for one of our Christmas Eve services this year. We're going to have two services here at the church. One's going to be at 5 o'clock. The other's going to be at 630. Both are going to be candlelight services, and both are going to last about an hour long. Uh, you might be a neighbor of ours. You might be a neighbor of the church just around the corner. You might be from Ottawa. You might be somewhere in Franklin County. But we just want to encourage you to come out to Ottawa Bible Church this Christmas Eve and to worship Jesus with us. See, here at the church, we believe that Jesus is the eternal Son of God who came and took on human flesh and lived a perfect, humble, obedient life, died on the cross to be our sin bearer, resurrected from the dead three days later, to offer eternal life and hope to anyone who places their faith in him and repents of their sin. Hey, that Jesus is the one that we're going to be worshiping this Christmas Eve. In fact, I want to say a little bit more. I want to read to you a passage from Philippians chapter 2, verses 5 through 11, about this humble Jesus. It says here in verse 5, Have this attitude in yourselves, which was also in Christ Jesus, who, although he existed in the form of God, the very nature of God, the very essence of God, did not regard equality with God a thing to be grasped or seized or clutched, but emptied himself, taking the form of a bondservant and being made in the likeness of men. Being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. See, Philippians 2 verses 5 through 8 tell us that Jesus always has been perfectly God. But at this point in time, this is what the Christmas season is all about, that Jesus came to this earth and took on human flesh to show us what humanity should really be living like. He divested himself of all personal endeavors. He left heaven he took on the limitations of a man, and in fact, humanity was added to his deity, and in doing so, he lived a perfect life as a perfect man. See, the Bible declares outright that Jesus is perfectly 100% God, and he is perfectly 100% man. Only God can forgive you completely of your sins, and only an actual man can be your perfect substitute. For sinners like myself and for sinners like us, Jesus came down as our perfect substitute to stand in our place. This is what Philippians 2 verses 5 through 8 is showing us. That he had the perfect identity as God and man, but he also had perfect humility in the process. And then, of course, after death on a cross, what does the Bible say? Look at verses 9 through 11. It says, For this reason also God highly exalted him. I think that's an insinuation to the resurrection even. And bestowed on him the name which is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus every knee will bow, of those who are in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and that every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Hey, this Christmas season, we're going to be worshiping the one who's worthy of all honor. We're going to sing praises to her, his name. We're going to make sure that we worship Jesus Christ, the God-man who came to stand in our place to give us eternal life and to give us hope. With that being said, I just again, I want to encourage you to come out to church. More about Ottawa Bible Church can be found at ottawabiblechurch.com. If you're interested in coming any other Sunday morning, we have services at 9 and 11 o'clock with a community breakfast in between. We pray that we would see you soon, and we pray for you this holiday season that you would know the love of Jesus Christ, who can give hope to any desperate soul. God bless you. Have a great holiday season. Take care.